Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I was just about to say welcome back to my vlog because I'm usually in this kind of setup when I'm when I'm vlogging but today I'm going to bring you guys a summer haul. So I have a few bits here which I have been collecting over the last couple of months. Some of this stuff is completely new so I have recently just purchased them and the other stuff I've been um, collecting over the last couple of months um, and I just haven't showed you guys in a proper haul. I may have showed you, well I have showed you them in a vlog but I know not everybody watches the vlogs and I thought I would do a little fashion video and with everything I don't think I've like properly like tried it on and done that whole thing which I normally would do but let me just crack on and show you the first item and that is this striped dress from Marks and Spencers. I've had my eye on this dress for a little while. I love a knitted dress. I love stripes. This dress just embodies everything that I love. <laughs> I thought this would also be, um, I thought this would also be really comfortable um, with the bump. Um, so I got it in two sizes because I really wasn't sure. I know that Marks and Spencers can be a little bit generous with their sizes so i picked up a medium and a large because i plan on wearing this now and right until the end of pregnancy um because i think this dress is going to look really good with like in summer you just wear it with like in summer you can wear it with sandals and then in autumn you can wear it with boots um it's really it's a really good transitional piece if I have energy, I may show you several different ways to style this dress. Actually, I'm going to do that, okay? That's a little challenge for me today to show you guys how I can style this one dress in several different ways. If not, I will definitely do that on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, definitely follow me over there. I post more daily fashion content. Um, so yeah, I picked up two. I'm going to try both on. It was £35, which I think is a really good price. And yeah, I think the medium looks like it's going to be good, but I just wanted... I just sometimes when i sometimes because i'm on the taller side i'm five for eight sometimes um because of the bump i find that things are coming up quite short and um, in my head i'm thinking they're gonna like hit ankle length or like calf length and they tend to be a lot shorter so hence why i got a large and um, just because if it falls and if, if it falls um, a little bit better, it looks a bit nicer than I'll just keep it large. And then again from Marks and Spencers, I picked up this brown dress, which has some shoulder pad details. It's like, it's got ruching as well, just along there. It's a really nice, beautiful, neutral brown shade. It goes all the way down. I think it also came in black, so either black or um, a brown. I thought I'd go for the brown just because I have a lot of black. Um, and then it also has ruching detail along the waist area as well, so it kind of, it really helps to shape you out. Um, hopefully it would look, it will look really good with bump. It's a midi length. And I thought this would be really nice for everyday and also for like evening. I don't know what I fully expected from the quality. Um, it doesn't feel bad, but it just doesn't feel like... It, it, it doesn't feel bad, but I don't know. I just expect something different. Um, so this one was £29.50. And when I compare the knit dress, I know the knit dress and this are obviously completely different dresses. But the quality of the knit dress, it, the quality of the knit dress is really good. Whereas with this one, it just feels a bit meh. Um, I haven't shopped on Next in a little while. Um, I haven't shopped on Next in a little while. Um, I've been loving all of their baby stuff, like obsessed with all their baby stuff. I, did, I actually did a big Next baby order last night. I picked up the cutest little fluffy pram suit for the baby. And um, whilst I was picking it up, I thought I'd also get this um, jumpsuit. It comes in multiple different colours. It's so comfortable. I love like loose, comfortable jumpsuits on pregnant women i think it just looks so cute um nothing tight i don't like tight jumpsuits on myself basic i don't like tight jumpsuits on myself but something like this like really loose really comfortable so i'd say this item is more of like one of those comfort pieces where um where it's not necessarily i mean it is fashionable but i'm not really buying it for fashion purposes i'm buying it because i just know this is going to be comfortable and i'm going to want to live in it all summer long so yeah it's in this navy color looks like that it has pockets it goes all the way down i plan on wearing like a white t-shirt underneath because i think that because i think that looks really cute it also came in white like a white it also came in a white creamy color and i really wanted that one but then um, I just thought it's probably going to get really, really dirty and get stained and 
I am extra clumsy right now. First thing from Whistles is this beautiful red dress, like a ready corally orange dress. I've showed this to you a few times and I just thought I'd show you again because I haven't like shown it in a proper haul. So all the things from Whistles I haven't shown it in a proper haul. I love this dress. I think it's just and I love it. I love it. It's so comfortable. I've worn it so many times. It's just one of those go-to pieces in summer, go-to pieces when you're pregnant. It's so comfortable. It has pockets. Um, yeah, it's just everything and more which I love um, about summer fashion. I got it in a size medium, I believe, or 12. I reckon, I think I got it in a size 12. It doesn't say it on here, but I think I got this one in a size 12. The only thing I would say is that I can't wear it braless, so I'll probably buy like nipple covers. Um, or you can wear a bra if you get like a nude bra, I think that'd look really good as well. I've left one Whistles dress in my wardrobe, but I'll quickly just talk about it. So I also got this cream one shoulder knit dress from Whistles. I think it's so beautiful. Um, I got this one in a size small because the medium, um, I tried in medium and small and um, the medium had a lot of extra material. And I thought, well, if it's got extra material now whilst I'm pregnant, what's it gonna look like post-pregnancy? <clears throat> Um, so I went for a small, it's really stretchy. I've just checked the Whistles website and it's currently on sale. So if you like this dress, definitely snag it up. Definitely snag it up. It's um, on sale, I think it's like half price or something. And they have like all of the sizes available. So I will link it in the description box. But that one is, like that dress is such good quality. You definitely have to wear, well I definitely have to wear nipple covers. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely, lovely dress. Highly, highly recommend that. I also picked up this jumpsuit here. Now, I tried this jumpsuit on about two weeks, three weeks ago, and I'm a bit concerned that it might not fit. Um, it might not fit. So this is like a um, red and white thin stripe jumpsuit. It's in this nice kind of like, it's, I think it's like a cord, corduroy, corduroy, um, corduroy, corduroy. Yeah, another word I can't say. It's a really, really nice jumpsuit. Um, just great. It's just a really nice summer piece. This is one of those pieces where I was like, I like it now, but I feel like definitely post-pregnancy, it's I'm going to love it even more. Um, and I think I sized up in this because of the bump. Um, I went from 14 just because the 12 was very tight and I just was scared that was going to like zip my skin. <laughs> That sounds horrible, doesn't it? Oh. Next thing that I'm going to show you is another jumpsuit, which I'm a bit concerned again might not fit because um, I haven't tried it on in a few weeks, um, and I'm now in my third trimester, and yeah, things are just getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> um, so yeah, I picked this one up in a size 12, I believe. None of the thingies have the size on them. Quite strange anyway it's a green jumpsuit linen jumpsuit it's gorgeous it's really it really is gorgeous it comes in black and green and i try to i try not to wear too much black in summer um autumn winter i love it but let me just wear a little bit of color in summer it has this ruching detail which would be lovely if you weren't pregnant but um it is a little bit like i have to wear it quite high otherwise it's a bit tight on the bump um really nice really nice linen material high quality you just know you're getting that quality when it comes to whistles it's beautiful um, and i love the color like imagine this color with gold jewelry it would look amazing um okay let me just show you this little card then i don't i want to show you it but then it's like oh, how am i going to style it in a way that i want to style it because i currently don't have any jeans that I would actually want to style it with. I have jeans. I have one pair of maternity jeans, which are a lifesaver. However, um, <gasps> however, um, I don't know if those jeans are really necessarily going to look good with these. And anyway, I can try. If I like it, I'll. If I like it, I'll show you. If I don't, then. Um, yeah, I've showed you anyway. This is the cardigan which I'm talking about, and it's a cream cardigan kind of. It's like in between a cardigan and a jacket, like it's way thicker than your average cardigan, but it's not quite a jacket. It's really, really, it's gorgeous. It reminds me of like Chanel, definitely gives me Chanel vibes. Um, I got it in a medium, the me I got it in a medium, the medium fits really well. This is a great transitional piece, um, you know, as were 
hopefully very slowly going towards autumn i think this is a lovely little throw-on piece just to keep you warm on those slightly cooler summer days um but yeah i think this is lovely and i'm really like embracing i've been really enjoyed dabbling into like more preppy style um i haven't done that much during pregnancy because you know surprisingly nothing fits the very final thing which i'm going to show you is actually an active wear piece it's actually an active wear piece from lululemon quite boring but i wear these every single day um so these are a pair of the align leggings from lululemon this is what they oh and i've got them inside out align leggings from lululemon i my i have another pair there's absolutely nothing wrong with my other pair i have quite a few pairs but i have another pair of black ones there's nothing wrong with them it's just that i thought i would buy a new pair um so that i could size up in them now without being dramatic people always just go on about leading them in the lines and i was like yeah yeah whatever and then last year i worked on a campaign with them and i really got to discover the brand delve into the brand and now i'm hooked and to be honest since then i don't think i bought any other leggings or active wear pieces i might buy some more like you know because these are really for yoga i think once i've had baby and i need more like running leggings and yeah i'll try other brands but since having those leggings i haven't delved i haven't even looked at other brands really um and because these leggings are incredible okay they are incredible um they're just everything and more <laughs> they, they are um they're expensive they are a lot of money i think these were like 80 pounds which is a lot of money for just a pair of leggings but um, if you are ever in, if you are in the market for just a good pair of everyday leggings, I don't even wear them to exercise. I'll be honest, I don't wear them to exercise. I wear them for walks. So any kind of like gentle exercise you can wear them for, yoga, walks, things like that you can. Um, but they don't recommend it for like going for runs and sweating and all that kind of thing because it's not it's not made for that. But when I tell you these leggings just feel like nothing else they really do i mean you know like i said i worked with them, i worked with them last year this year i bought another pair of the black ones because they're just that good like um, i'm way i'm happy to spend my own money on a brand that, that is worth it and to treat myself to something that i know i'm gonna love now funnily enough i actually sized up and got a size eight um, it's not a UK. It's not UK sizing. It's like I don't know what sizing they do. Probably American. But um, last year I had a six, and I've continued to wear the six throughout my pregnancy. Like I could wear the six. I could wear the size. I could wear the size six today, and it would still be relatively comfortable. Um, even though I'm now in the third trimester, they are the only leggings that have been comfortable um, throughout my whole pregnancy because. Everything else just digs or has like a, a band at the top which it digs in. These ones, they just lay on your body and they're just, they're just incredible. So anyway, I sized up and funnily enough, um, the size 8, which is technically a bigger size, feels tighter. And I'm thinking that might just be because they're new. So they need to be worn in a little bit more, stretched out a little bit more and um, then they'll get really comfy. But even, you know, postpartum when I want to do you know when i go with walks with a baby or when i want to do like more gentle exercises at the beginning um that like yoga or stuff like that then these are going to come in handy anyway but yeah the size eight actually feels a lot tighter than the six i'm just thinking i'm hoping i'm hoping that's because these ones are brand new <laughs> anyway i've done a talking thank you so much for watching this whole video um let me know which is your favorite piece everything will be linked everything will be linked in the description box as always and yeah thank you so much for the support thank you honestly guys i'm so so i appreciate you guys so much everybody that watches my comments and likes the videos leaves a comment like i'm a viewer i watch youtube all the time and i hardly ever comment on anyone's channel so the people that do comment on my channel you don't even know how much i appreciate you yeah it's just so kind thank you anyway i'll speak to you all very very soon bye